Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what hardware is required to install a voice over IP phone system. Today's video is going to be a short one, shorter than my usual videos, and the reason why is because they're plug and play. For those of you who know us and who have watched our channel, you know that one of the reasons we're a big advocate of voice over IP, specifically hosted voice over IP phone systems versus like full-fledged in-house voice over IP PBXs, or um, the old school analog phone systems is because hosted voice over IP phone systems are super duper plug and play. So anyways, let's quickly get into the things that you need to be aware of as far as installation and what you're gonna need to do the install successfully. Number one, this is something that not only a voice over IP phone system needs, but this is something that any phone system needs for successful installation is wiring. In this specific case for hosted voice over IP phones, you're going to need CAT5 and CAT6 wires in your office. Now, it's safe to say that anybody who's watching this that is in a legitimate office and not in a home-based business office, by legitimate, that's no offense because I have a home-based business as well, um, and I prefer working out of my house than in an office. Um, typically, if you have a what we call a traditional office versus a home office or home-based uh, office, You've got Cat5 wires at every single one of the desks in your office anyways, Cat5 or Cat6, because that's how you get internet to the desks. So typically for a uh, phone system, you typically need at least one wire that's going back to the desk to plug that phone into because it plugs in via Cat5 or Cat6, or what we call an ethernet cable or internet cable. It's the same type of cable that internet plugs into. Now, if you've only got one wire there and it's being used by a computer, have no fear. A lot of newer phones these days, especially Polycoms and some of the Yale links, they have what's called a pass through on the back that allows you to plug in with internet and then in the phone and then come out of the phone and go back to another device such as a computer or a local printer that's on the network or something like that. Short of it is, is just make sure that you've got wiring going back to where you want the phone to be. If you don't have wiring, don't fret. There are options for wireless. You could get a cordless voice over IP phone or a lot of um, hosted IP phones that normally require an actual hard uh, Ethernet plug to go back to the Internet. You can get proprietary uh, what we call a wireless dongle that connects to the phone. It basically connects to the phone. It has two parts to it. Uh, well, most of them are usually a dongle that plugs into the phone and then it has some sort of a configuration inside of it that has to be managed um, through an Internet, through a web interface to connect it to your wireless in the office. Um, I will admit, I don't normally recommend hosted IP phones on a wireless connection if you would, that, are, that are desk phones. If you wanna go wireless, I recommend you get a cordless IP phone where it has a base that can plug into the back office, into your switch or your router, and then that thing, that receiver, has a real long range on it that will connect back to an actual cordless phone. So um, either way, the option is there for wireless but just make sure that you've thought that through before you go with your hosted phone system. Are you going to go wired or wireless? <clears throat> Number two, the thing that you need is a router. Um, now, obviously, if you've got internet in your office, you've got a router. The router is not the thing. It's the compatibility that's the thing. So really, I want to reiterate, you need to make sure that you have a router that is compatible with the hosted voice over IP phone uh, system in question. If you're somebody that is looking at a new system, especially if you're working with me, I'm going to ask you what router are you using and then give you the pointers you need to know and make sure that the router that you're using is going to play nice with your hosted, uh, with your voice over IP phone system. So you're going to need a router, which is obvious because anybody who's got an office that's got internet and that has more than one computer, you have to have a router. It's a given. The question is, is that router going to be compatible and play nice with your hosted uh, voice over IP phone system? Number three, a switch. Um, back to the router. Most routers will have four ports. If you're like me and you've got three IP phones and four laptops, then you obviously are going to be using more than um, four ports. Um, I have a four port router and then I've got a five port gigabit Netgear switch that's plugged into that router because I have approximately somewhere in the ballpark of like, I think like eight seven or eight devices that are plugging into my uh, network. So 
make sure if you've got a router, for example, and you've got four computers in the office and you're thinking about getting a phone for each one of those users, which would be four, then you're going to have a total of eight devices, less anything else that I'm not aware of that you've got like access points and whatnot. So you're definitely going to need a switch. While we're on the subject of switches, I recommend that the switch be gigabit because most voice over IP phones these days are going to be gigabit. So you don't want to bottleneck the phones. If the phones are gigabit, give them a gigabit router. Don't give them a 10 100 and bottleneck the traffic. Secondly, one thing that I want to put out there is I typically recommend that I typically recommend that the switch that you get is unmanaged. If you're somebody who's got a larger network, you may have to use manage. I just want to throw out there that some unmanaged switches don't play very nice with, uh, I'm sorry, some managed switches don't play very nice with hosted IP, with voice over IP phone systems. Not all of them, but I've seen some scenarios where they cause some strange issues. So if you're somebody who's watching this that needs a switch and you can get away with, man, with not using a managed, you can go with an unmanaged switch. I recommend you go with a unmanaged gigabit switch. <clears throat> The phones. The last thing that you're going to need on the list is the phones. Um, the good news is, is most um, voice over IP carriers these days, like Vonage Business, Nextivo, Ring Central, 8x8 Job, the list goes on and on and on. They will usually give you the phones for free or give you the high end phones if you prefer something that's better than the free phones that they give you with new account. They'll give you even the high end phones for pennies on the dollar for literally like a deal that you would never be able to get those phones for on Amazon or through some wholesale phone provider, you know, wholesale outlet, because they don't, they're not in the business of selling phones. They're in the business of selling their service. So obviously the fourth thing you're going to need is the phones, but the carrier will cover you on that. Not only are they going to give you phones that are, that are compatible with their service, they're going to give them to you at a deal that, you know, you probably wouldn't be able to get elsewhere because they want to get you on their service. So anyways, that concludes the video. What hardware is required to install a uh, hosted voice over IP phone system? As you can see, the majority of what you need to successfully install one of these systems is stuff that you already have in your office to be able to successfully have internet in your office because the phones utilize the internet for their communications platform. So if you're somebody who's watching this video and you're thinking about a voice over IP phone system and you've got questions about what you've got in your office currently before you make the switch and want to know if it's going to be okay or not, or you're somebody who's watching this that is not only interested, uh, that not only is concerned about what hardware or what requirements you're going to need, but you're interested in a system in general. Remember, we represent all the major hosted voice over IP phone system providers on the network. Our service is free. I'm happy to work with you to see what provider is best for your needs and get you pricing. Again, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys again in the next video.